All right, Steve, you've just been speaking about the West Ham game. Great night, great effort, but you came off you know, disappointing, feeling like you could have taken it to extra time. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I think that was a overall feeling after the game. There's slight disappointment, obviously. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game, and uh, the only expectation we really had was what we put on ourselves. But, you know, after the first half, we took a lot of encouragement from that, and uh, it was just shame we came out and, and they got that early goal in the second half. Uh, it was a bit of a mountain to climb then, but I thought we, we rallied well, uh, weathered a bit of a, a storm and, and then uh, obviously got the penalty and then anything can happen when it's back to 2-1. Um, so, yeah, it was a great night all round, but um slight tinge of disappointment. Yeah, yeah when you, I've asked you about it before, what, what our lane and things like that, when you walked out, did it bring some good memories back of, you think you played there before when De Canio scored for, for West Ham? Yeah, yeah, I've played there, I've played there before. Uh, yeah, I think, Storage puts ahead and then uh, De Canio scored the equaliser. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's always good to go back to play at grounds like that, you know, and uh, and uh, relive a few old old memories. But um, yeah, it was like you say, it was a great night, but um, slightly disappointed. But move on. Um, looking forward to Saturday. Yeah, you've been there and done it all before, but the man next to you was making his first senior appearance of any kind. What what was yeah. it like? Um, I mean, everyone was impressed with how he did. But what was it like playing next to him? He's a uh, he's a He's a good player, Ryan. I think um, if he if he keeps his head down and, and, and keeps working hard, um, same as Michael Hector, he was similar type of physique, uh, tall, athletic, um, full of confidence. Ryan is. Um, <clears throat> I think he uh, he'll go a long way in the game, and, and that to be his first game in any competition, like I say, any any sort of first team action was uh, fantastic. Um, I thought he did very well. Um, he uh, dealt with everything that was thrown at him, and, uh, and uh, he, he was great talking. Uh, he's, he seems a lot older than what he is, um, and very pleased for him. And, and hopefully, he'll go on to do better things. Yeah, and he took a nasty elbow in the eye within the first about ten minutes. So he came back well from that as well, didn't he? Because you know he was pretty much out cold. Yeah, well, he was, I think they were keeping him down just to keep a check on him, but he wanted to get up, and he was saying he was all right. So. I know as soon as he was saying that he was all right, and he'll, he'll get plenty more of them in his career. Don't worry about that. It's the first one in his first game. I'm sure he'll he'll get plenty more stitches in his face uh, before the end of his time. So, yeah, he he, he did well. He came back on and, and carried on where he left off. Yeah. Yeah. How pleased were you with the way he dealt with with Vazte and the other attacking players? Because apart from, you can't really do much about the free kick. I know you're probably disappointed with the second goal, but in terms of actual the way you handled them, were you quite pleased with that as a as a defence? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, any time uh, kept him quiet for, for what forty odd minutes. So, you know, you've got to be pleased with that. Um, yeah, disappointed with the second goal, but it's a bit of individual brilliance. I mean, we probably could have cleared it a couple of times before that, but I mean, the lads, the lads got great skill, and uh, he's a he's a exciting prospect, Morrison. So, you know, sometimes you've got old hands up and say there's a great bit of skill stuck in the bottom corner. But apart from apart from that, I think Brownie's. Had a couple of decent saves to make, and and that's about it really. So yeah, we were organised and uh, we we felt pretty comfortable first half. So yeah, it was it, it was a good game. Yeah, we I spoke to you after the Akron's game and the, the solidity was back, clean sheet, and that's that's probably the most important thing you had to get right, isn't it? Now you can start thinking about more yeah. the other end of the pitch, you know, creating more. But you had yeah. to get that sorted out first of all, didn't you? Yeah, of course. I think I think uh, tails coming in helps helps us as well. That. He just gives us that little bit of security in front. Um, obviously, we played uh, two in front of us against West Ham, and it worked. Like I say, it was the free kick that undid us. But um, yeah, we had to get back to to being solid, and being organised, and uh, I think we're getting there. So hopefully, our standards in good stead for for Berry. Yeah. yeah, I know you're showing no signs of slowing down playing every game last season, but three long trips in a week. You know, with one to go. How are you feeling? Are you feeling all right? Are you feeling fresh? Yeah, I feel fine. Absolutely fine. Um, yeah, three long trips, um, get looked after, get in the ice bath, get in the gym, stretch in, uh, do a little bit of ball work today. But apart from that, yeah, I feel absolutely fine. I'm loving it and enjoying it, as always. Yeah, yeah and uh, Sean Harrod is obviously at Berry. He, he, uh, he's been on the bench a bit coming on, I think. But if, if he does start or come on, do you think knowing him as well as you do will help uh, maybe help you have a chance? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, I know Sean's game, he's, he's, he holds it up nice to link it up. So... You know, um, yeah, we know all about Sean, obviously, obviously being here. But um, I'm sure he'll be wanting to prove a prove a point as well if he if he does play or get on. So yeah, it's just going to be it's going to be a tough game. 
Um, they've got a lot of new players, a lot of good players, and uh, I think they'll just be looking to find a bit of form as well, of course. So, yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy, but um, looking forward to it, and hopefully we can go out there and get a result. Yeah, there was a lot of chat after the Accrington game about how long it had been since you've beaten the team from up north, and uh, mm. nice to get two in a week now, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice to, yeah, we've got the monkey off our back now, yeah, so, um, yeah, it'd be nice to go and do it, do it again, um, put that one to bed, but, um, like I say, it'd be a tough game, and, uh, but we'll take confidence from the other night, you know, so, hopefully we'll go up there and, uh, and get the result we want. Yeah, just going back to Innes, I mean, he, he came in in front of 23,000 people against West Ham, you know, the great occasion, now he's going to probably make his football league debut in front of, of slightly less at Berry. so, do you think he might have to play more of an important role of of talking him through it because it's not such a big occasion. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, um, I mean, anyone can get off West Ham away. That's, you know, that's natural. He's going to be, he's going to be nervous. But this is his league debut, and um, you know, like you say, it's at, it's at um, Bury, where I don't know what crowds they get, but it won't be nowhere near West Ham. So um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I won't need to do too much for him or, or talk him through too much because. Um, He'll be buzzing to play, and he'll be. Uh, all I can say to him is, look, just you want to play as many games in your career as, as possible. So uh, make sure most of the time it's decent performances, and you'll be you'll be all right. So, but um, he, he's a good lad anyway. He's, he's full of confidence, and I'm, I'm sure he's buzzing to play. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very often you're not the biggest player in the back four, is it? <laughs> he comes no, in, no, he's yeah, an absolute he's, uh, monster, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a big lad to be fair. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he dwarfs me, and uh, he's fit, athletic, and he, he's probably what I call now a, a typical modern day centre half, um, you know, tall, athletic and uh Do you mind you of yourself in, yeah, in, your, uh, in your early days? <laughs> in the, well your, yeah uh, when I first started yeah I was probably one of the big lads and um a lot of the centre halves were a bit like me, stocky. Um but nowadays it seems to be another three inches taller and we've been twice as fast, you know, but that's the way it's going. Um I mean, he's he's he's, he's perfect for what you want yep. as a centre half partner. You know, um, he just uh, needs experience, and then all he's got to do then is get consistency in his game, and um, I'm sure he'll have a good career. Yeah, cheers, yep. Stevie. Cheers, John.